I promise this video is about the Viva Bluetooth controller. I'm going to show you guys how to set the time, how to access the user menu, how to set the auto on feature, and how to change the heater from Celsius to Fahrenheit, as well as some other stuff. But before we even get to the intro of the video, I gotta say, please stick with me. I've got some very relevant, very cool information to talk with you guys about. So just bear with me. A couple of videos back, someone left a comment asking me if I've ever heard of a Burek remote control, and I hadn't, so I did a Google search. I came across their company, did a little bit of research, and it turns out they have a really cool product. It is basically a remote control for diesel heaters that robs the signal from your remote and then gives you all sorts of cool functions that you normally don't have with a heater. I'm not going to get into all of the details here, but I will say that some of the functionality that this remote has, I now found inside of the Viva Bluetooth controller. So I thought that was really cool. You guys can look forward to a review or a product usage of the Burek controller on my channel in the future. That is what I wanted to share with you guys. Now let's get to the intro. Yes! <laughs> What's up everyone? Welcome to Lowered Expectations. Thanks for lowering your expectations and hanging out with me here. I do appreciate it. Today is a glorious day and I am very happy because I have finally cracked the code on the Viva Bluetooth diesel heater controller. That is a bit of a mouthful. I love my diesel heater. I love the fact that it's Bluetooth and I rarely actually use the controller because I just use the app on my phone. But I am the first to admit that this manual is absolute garbage. And if you read this, you're probably gonna end up tearing your hair out. I've had several people message me in the comments asking me how to set the time, how to set a timer on the heater to turn it on and off, how to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius, and how to set it so that it turns on and off based on temperature. Well, I've finally figured all that stuff out and uh, this video is going to help you guys out with that. I have just figured this out a few minutes ago, so I am by no means an expert, but this should give you enough information to be able to walk through this and uh, figure out how to do what you need to do. So let's go into my truck and uh, I will try to get you guys a shot. It is currently dark, but that's probably better because uh, you'll actually be able to see the controller. So once again, let's go to my truck and uh, we'll take a little bit of a closer look at the controller. I'll show you guys what it says in the manual or try to, yeah, I'll try to read some of this, but it just breaks your brain when you do it. And uh, so we're gonna look at what it says to do here and then we'll see how to actually change stuff in the controller. I may have just told you guys that we were going to read through the manual and try some of the stuff in there, but I realized after that, if you've already struggled through that once, you're probably traumatized and I'm not gonna put you through that again. So what we're gonna do is actually get into the menu here and I'm just gonna show you guys how to set the time and then we'll move on to other things. Once you've figured out how to set the time, that gives you a pretty good idea on how you can actually get into the other menus. But one thing that you need to know is that the heater will not allow you into the, I guess, settings menu until you actually power the heater on. So right now it is 1708. I wish that I could change that, but I don't think I can change it from 24 hour to 12 hour time. Uh, kind of annoyed about that, but maybe we can. Maybe we'll find that out in uh, the next few minutes here. So let's actually go in here. In order to go in, we need to power the heater on. So we'll push the button to power the heater on. Start heating. It says start heating, and then right away we're going to actually, first thing we're gonna do is change it to level so that we can crank the level down, because I don't need heat right now. 
Now that we have the heater powered on, we are going to be able to access the user menu. We can do that by pressing and holding the M button. I've turned on a light. I'm hoping it doesn't make things too weird and shadowy, but this is the best solution that I could come up with. So once again, we've got the heater powered on and we push and hold the M button, which is right here, and everything will disappear except for the clock. As you can see, 1711. If we want to change this, we push the M button again. That takes us to the hours. We push up or down to change the hours. We push the M button again to take us to the minutes. And then again, you push up or down to change the minutes. We're going to leave it here because we don't want to change it. Press the M button again. And then if we want to exit, now that we've set our time, we push the, push the power button and that takes us back. Our time is now set. If this video has helped you out in any way or you just found it amusing, I would appreciate it very much if you would hit the like button. It doesn't cost anything and it definitely helps the video get seen by more people. During the winter, my only income is from YouTube, from Patreon members, and a small commission that I get from Viver. So I can definitely use all the help I can get. Speaking of commission from Viver, if you're interested in picking up one of these heaters, there is an affiliate link as well as a discount code in the description below. We're now going to move on and I'm going to answer the second most popular question that I've gotten from people and that is how to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit because these controllers all come set to uh, Celsius. So again, to enter the menu, you push and hold the M key for about three seconds. Everything disappears except for the clock. And then you simply push the up or down keys to get to different parts of the menu. So this is a timer. We're not going to go in there. That is something to do with the timer. That is the timer on or off. This, I believe, is how far the temperature goes. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know what this is. Maybe we'll come back and figure it out at some other point, but not right now. This is Bluetooth on. You can turn the Bluetooth off if you want to, but we're not going to do that. And then, wait, whoopsie. We'll go on to the next thing, which is the remote on. So you can make it so that you can disable the remote, basically. So the, the remote does not control the controller. And if we go up again, this is the auto on and off function, which is currently turned off. We're going to come back and uh, turn that on a little bit later. But now we're going to continue on. This is how you change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So currently it says 1, and then Celsius, you push the M button. It will start flashing the Celsius, push either up or down, it doesn't matter which one, and that switches you to Fahrenheit. You then push the M button again, and then if you want to exit out of this, you would push the power button, and it is now set to Fahrenheit. If I go over and switch the mode from level mode to auto mode, we can see it is now 80 Fahrenheit, or 80.6 Fahrenheit. And now I don't want to leave it there. I want to change it back to Celsius because I'm Canadian and I don't understand Fahrenheit. Push and hold the M button and everything disappears except for the clock. We're actually going to go down because that's the easiest way to get to it. So the down, down arrow brought us through to where we change, the, uh, change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Press the M key, press either up or down, and now press the M key again. It is now set to Celsius, and if we push this and then auto, we can see if we change the temperature, it is now 27 Celsius. Cool. I'm not going to show you guys everything because I only figured this out just a very short while ago, but what I am going to show you is how to set up something that is really, really cool, and that is the thermostat function or the auto on and auto off function. What this does is make the heater work like your heater or thermostat would in your house so that if it drops below a certain temperature, the heater will turn on and then the heater will turn off when it reaches a certain temperature and again, wait until it cools off before the heater turns back on again. This is one of the few, few controllers that actually has this functionality that I'm aware of. So uh, again, very cool. To get back into the user menu, we push the M key, hold it down, everything disappears except for the clock, 
and then we are going to scroll through until we get to the auto uh yeah the auto feature so it says auto off so we don't want that off we push the m key and then the up or the down arrow and it says auto on au on so now we push the m key again and then to get out of this menu we push the power button just as with all the other features we're currently on the auto setting and the current temperature in here i'm gonna have to grab oh there <laughs> It turned off by itself because we are over the threshold temperature and so now if I want the heater to turn back on what I simply do is I can turn the temperature up it's currently at 28 we're gonna crank it all the way up to 36 and the heater will turn on I don't think I was totally clear on what I was trying to say here, so I figured I would pop in and try to add a little bit of clarity. Hopefully I don't just make things more confusing. The heater was set to 27 degrees Celsius and the inside of my truck was 31 degrees Celsius. Because of this, as soon as I set it to the auto on, auto off feature, the heater turned off because it was above the threshold. I could have just opened the door on my truck or waited a bunch of time and it would have eventually dropped back down below 27 degrees Celsius and the heater would have kicked back on again. But I didn't want to wait all that time, so I set the heater all the way up to 36 degrees to force it to come back on. Hopefully that makes sense. The heater actually has to go through a cool down cycle before it will turn back on again. So what I'm going to do is leave the camera running and you guys will actually see when the heater turns back on all by itself. Start heating. There you have it folks. It is starting to heat all by itself. The heater just turned on without me touching anything. And now I am going to turn the temperature down it's, the temperature is set all the way to 36, and I don't really want it to be 36 in here. I just did that to show you guys. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to turn the temperature down, and when I get below the threshold, I don't know what the temperature actually is in here. I guess we'll check my diesel heater app, and then we can simply turn the heater down a little bit below. So I'll do a screen recording and show you guys. The interior of my car is currently at 31 degrees Celsius. What I'm going to do is actually turn this down to 29 and I'll leave it at 29 and you guys will see in a few seconds here the heater will power down. Stop heating. There we go. That is awesome. I am really excited about that. So I'm actually going to turn this feature off because I don't want my heater turning back on. Uh, I turn my heater on and off manually because I don't use my truck enough to actually use this feature. So again, I'm going to walk you guys through how to change this. Pardon the airplane flying over. Again, to get into the menu to change anything, what you do is push and hold the M button I believe that's the menu key everything disappears except for the clock and in order to get to different parts of the menu you push the up or down keys so we're gonna go through until we get to the auto function we're on the auto function we don't want it to be on so I'm gonna push M again push up to turn it off M again to set it and then power to exit the menu so now my heater will not turn on automatically. So I'm going to push the power button Stop heating. and turn the heater off. There Thanks we go. I wish you a safe journey. Oh, how nice. So there we have it. The clock is set. We now know how to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And we also know how to turn on and off the auto function. 
There is a bunch of other functionality inside of here and I'm not gonna go into it now because quite honestly, I don't understand enough about it and I would probably just give you guys a bunch of incorrect information. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to leave a thumbs up and if you wanna see more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe. If you're interested in picking up a diesel heater, affiliate link and discount code in the description below. If you happen to purchase a Burek remote, well, let them know that I sent you, Joel from Lowered Expectations. I get absolutely nothing from it, but I would be thoroughly amused. I am going to be releasing individual videos on how to change your time, how to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit and so on and so forth. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is to make these videos easier to find for people because I know that people who have asked me in the comments probably won't even see this video just because it's hard to title something like this for each individual case. So if you've already seen this video and those come out, I apologize, but uh, I think it's for the greater good. That is gonna do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.